Throughout Oklahoma, there are literally thousands of different kinds of spiders. But there are two kinds of spiders that we consider medically important and we should really teach our kids how to identify them. Those would be the black widow and the brown recluse, often referred to as the fiddleback spider. Black widows are very common throughout the entire United States and are considered the most medically important spider that we have in this country. Their bite contains a neurotoxin which can cause all over intense body pains, irritation, and extreme uh, sleeplessness. You can't rest after a black widow bite. Deaths are extremely rare. More people in our country are killed by Christmas trees than are killed by black widows, but they're still an important spider to avoid and treat if you do receive a bite. I have down here on the table several different specimens of the same species of black widow. They don't always have to have the same markings, so you want to look for the actual structure of the black widow, which looks like a black shiny marble on long black toothpicks with some possibly red markings on their abdomen that might be on the top or on the bottom. Most people are very familiar with the red hourglass shape on the underside of the abdomen. Black widows commonly do have that, but can be without it. And so it's best to learn the body shape rather than just rely on one identification mark. These three are all adult female black widows. And you can see that there's quite a bit of variety in their markings. This little bitty guy here is still a black widow and still an adult, but this one is a male. Male spiders tend to be as much as one one hundredth of the size of a female. They do still have the same venom, but truly their mouth parts are so small that you will not receive a bite from a male black widow. Black widows are in the family of cobweb spiders and have a very distinctive messy web that will have some of the strongest silk that you might ever touch. If you do receive a bite from a black widow, you want to seek medical attention quickly. Go to the emergency room or to your doctor and tell them you've been bitten by a black widow and they will treat the symptoms to help you feel better fast. Finally, we come to the much misunderstood brown recluse spider. This animal is probably one of the most feared animals in Oklahoma, but people really needn't be so frightened because there has never been a documented death from fiddleback bite anywhere in the United States. In fact, this little brown spider's bite only affects 5% of the human population, which means that 95% of the people on this planet have no reaction to a brown recluse bite at all. Unfortunately, when you do have a bite from a fiddleback and you have a reaction, what can happen is a dead area of skin may develop. And over time, that area won't heal on its own. You need to seek medical treatment. And so some people get very sick from the germs and infection that set in from an open wound on their body. Treatment for a brown recluse is very straightforward with antibiotics and hydrocortisone and can rapidly help heal the wound that won't heal on its own without that medical attention. Fiddlebacks are very easy to identify, but people often get it wrong. People are looking for that guitar shape to be on the abdomen of the spider, but in fact, Brown recluses have no markings on their abdomen at all. The marking that's shaped like a guitar is found up on the head as part of the eyes. And so if you look for a small brown spider that has a dark eye marking and kind of a stripe between its legs, you've probably found a fiddleback. Again, they are extremely common throughout the southern United States, and people encounter them everywhere, boxes, buildings, cardboard, anywhere you might store wood or paper or boxes, you'll come across one. 
just kill it if you need to, but you don't have to. It actually has a job eating other bugs in the environment. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.